James Franco and Brian Cranston's 2016 comedy Why Him? has found fresh popularity on streaming, despite its lowly Rotten Tomatoes score. Directed and co-written by Me Times' John Hamburg, the movie tells the story of a father who tries to stop his daughter's immature millionaire boyfriend from proposing to her. Featuring a cast that also includes Megan Mullally, Zoe Deutsch, Griffin Gluck, and Keegan-Michael Key, the movie was a box office success, grossing almost $120 million against a production budget of $52 million, despite largely negative critical reviews. Now, despite the movie's low Rotten Tomato score and negative critical reception, it is enjoying newfound success on the streaming platform, Hulu. The site has why him? Ranked at the number one spot on its list of top 15 movies today, for Friday, November 8, though which it achieved by beating out the rest of the top five which include successful movies such as the original Madagascar movie at number 2, Grown Ups at number 3, Pullman at number 4, and Grown UPS 2 at number 5. Though it has since taken a slight dip in its rankings, Why Him? is still situated within the first five of TH Top 15 movies today, with Pullman and Madagascar rising above it to bump it down to the number 3 spot. Additionally, with its third spot, the Franco and Cranston-led comedy is seated ahead of three Adam Sandler comedies, Grown Ups at number 4, Grown UPS 2 at number 5 and Happy Gilmore at number 6. What this means for the streaming future of Why Him? The movie's success could be down to its simple formula. The cast of Why Him? Sitting around the dinner table. In many ways, Why Him? Was a movie harking back to a simpler time in filmmaking, where all that was really required to achieve box office success was to hire attractive stars for mid-budget rom-coms, throw in a peppering of profanity, and audiences would flock in their droves. These days, it feels like people want a little bit more from their theater trips, but this means movies like Why Him? can find their niche on streaming, where people can enjoy them from the comfort of home. The movie might be formulaic, as evidenced by Why Him's poor reviews, but that is sometimes exactly what people are looking for, and streaming services allow audiences to enjoy easy-to-watch films that they don't always have to think too hard about. This, combined with a strong cast, and a few laugh-out-loud moments will doubtless have helped the movie to rise to the top of the charts, and whilst there is no way of knowing how long the movie will continue to excel on Hulu, for now it has clearly struck a chord with viewers. Why Him's streaming success also falls in line with many other similarly undemanding comedies released as Hulu originals in recent years, which have found an array of success. Some of the more notable include that of the John Cena-led Vacation Friends movies and Orquafana and Sandra O's Quiz Lady, the latter of which went on to win the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Television Movie. Our take on Why Him's streaming success. Franco has made a creative pivot to independent film since his personal controversies. Franco has been plagued by personal controversies in recent years that have kept him out of the spotlight, but the star settled his lawsuit in 2021 and will no doubt be looking to make a comeback. Whilst his days of starring in big-budget studio projects could be over, Franco has several independent projects currently in the works, including the superhero movie Bunnyman, and Why Him's success on streaming appears to have come at a good time for the controversial star, as he looks to get his career back on track.